I'm Dory, and today I'll be answering a question from Ellie J. Ellie J wants to know, how long does it take for astronaut suits to be created? As with many questions, the answer to this one is, it depends. Start to finish, creating a spacesuit takes years of research and development. Let's look at some examples. The first spacesuit conference was held on January 29, 1959, where experts talked about what they would need and gave three companies six months to create their designs. Ultimately, BF Goodrich was contracted to modify existing high-pressure Mark IV suits on July 22, 1959. At that time, each suit was specifically tailored to fit the user. The first astronauts were fitted for the suits in October, but they weren't used in space until May 1961. Similarly, planning for the first Gemini suits started in 1962. In this case, the first two versions never even went to space. The G3C spacesuits made it there in 1964. Spacesuits for the Apollo missions started with a competition for contracts in March 1962. The A7L suits didn't get into space until October 1968. The first EMU, or extravehicular mobility suits, required five years of research, starting in 1975. And they didn't get into space until 1983. So much time and so many resources have been put into the development of this technology that things like the EMU developed decades ago are still in use today. Even with all the advancements in spacesuit technology, the SpaceX Crew Dragon suit still took several years from design concept to their first space flight in 2020. Why do these things take so long? As with anything else in engineering, organizations are continuing to go through the design process to solve specific problems. Some designs were created only for use inside of a vehicle. The Mercury and Space Shuttle suits were essentially specialized flight suits based on existing high altitude pressure suits. Their main purpose being to protect the astronauts in the event of an emergency. Over the decades, designs for this type of suit have become lighter and more comfortable with better temperature regulation, as we see in SpaceX Crew Dragon and Boeing CST-100 Starliner flight suits. Then there are EMU suits for use in space or on other planets. These designs need to allow astronauts to stay safe from outside threats like debris and temperature fluctuations while allowing them to move around. They also have to maintain pressure, filter the air, and provide water while including communications and other specialized equipment. That's where the latest spacesuit models come into play. Collins Aerospace and Axiom Space are working on prototypes designed for greater adjustability and mobility while including redundant components for safety and the latest in life support technology. However, these prototypes are still in development. The Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit probably won't be sent to space until the Artemis III mission in 2025. Meanwhile, the Collins Aerospace design won't be tested for use on the ISS until closer to 2026. This all being said, once the suit has been designed and tested, they can be ready in as little as three to nine months, depending on the type of suit. NASA and some companies behind the various spacesuit designs have also moved away from individualized suits to ones with interchangeable parts and materials. The flexibility built into these designs allow for a greater range of body shapes and sizes while still meeting all the safety specifications. Thank you for watching this episode of Ask Starbase, and a special thank you to LEJ for asking this question. If you have a STEM question, please email it to ask at starbase-ct.com, or you can submit it through our website, starbase-ct.com. Stay safe and be well. Bye.